Hi, welcome back to AQA Certificate for the Mathematics GCSE. Today we're on Chapter 5.2, Distance of Two Points, and Finding Midpoint. This is a great B video. I hope you enjoy it, and let us start. So, now uh, we are going to do something uh, with coordinates. And according to the last video, we've learned the gradient, but for this part, it's entirely different because you really don't quite need to use gradient at all. Um, the fact that uh, finding midpoint and distance requires you to use Pythagoras, which is uh, one of the most basic skill that any one who do math need to know. Just remember, think of one unit of x or one unit of y as one cm or one meter, and don't get confused. They are all the same. So here I have a line on coordinates without a graph paper, so you can just read it out, uh, which is some most of the time how exams plan out is don't give you any graph paper as background and you have to really algebraically calculate the answer. And so how do we find the midpoint first? For, uh, what you need to do is to average out the top and the bottom coordinates uh, which is 3 and 9 as x, 5 and 9 as x. How do you average it? You add them up and divide by 2. And so it will kind of look like this. This is the midpoint. So, how do you find uh how do you calculate this? No brainer. You try it. So 3 plus 9 is 12 divided by 2 is 6. 5 plus 9 is 14 divided by 2 is 7. So the midpoint C is 6 7. And so I will label, well, not C, but M, always M, for midpoint. There we go. So we have the midpoint. Isn't that quick? Well, now to the real thing. How do we find the distance of A to B? It surely isn't uh, 9 minus 3 or 9 minus 5 because it is... Um, not. Uh, so what we need to do is Pythagoras. So um, let me see how to construct a right angle triangle from here. So I'll give you five seconds, well two seconds to think. Why is this definitely a right angle? I'll tell you why. Because y coordinate uh, is, well, the x coordinate corresponds to the y axis, x coordinate corresponding to the y coordinate. Uh, kind of? Uh, doesn't matter, you just need to know that this is behind the grid that is red angled. So now, time for some Pythagoras. How do we do this? First, we need to find this side, then find this side, and you can solve A, uh, a B. But how do we find the, uh, the vertical line and the horizontal line? Well, for the horizontal, you want to subtract the x-axis by another. So basically, the x-axis is 9 minus 3. The y-axis, otherwise, is 9 minus 5. And there I have made a um, much better uh, triangle for you to see. And let us calculate. So for this, uh, 9 minus 5 is, we know, 4. 9 minus 3, we know, is 6. And one special point to note. If the coordinate is negative, don't fear, because subtraction of a negative number is adding 
that number. So you will never get negative distance out of this. So Pythagoras still works. And we haven't broke math at all. Okay. So basically, D will be uh, the root of 4 squared plus 6 squared. And I need the root sign just like this. It's terrible. Um, then we can just do our normal calculation within that bracket. Uh, well, within that square root is 16 plus 36, which is 52. And we square root it as 50, uh, root 52. And I know that is not the sim most simplified root because this number is divided uh, divisible by 4 which can you can extract a whole number 2 out of it that doesn't matter you can solve it yourself I can't be bothered so that's it for how to find the distance and yeah so special thing to note is that always subtract uh, the smaller number from the large one and that is uh, true for finding distances. If you want to find midpoint, you add them up. So if it's negative, you do add a negative number, which is subtracting. So yeah, those two don't confuse yourself and use Pythagoras as well. Here's a great mathematician. All right, I have four lines, A, B, M, N, P, Q, X, Y. These four lines are straight, uh, and I want you to find their midpoint and their distance or length. So, yeah, I'll give you some time to pause the video and I'll reveal the answer. There we are, the four lines and four midpoints and four distances and that ends this video and by the way the distance are um, to three significant figures and yes I'm not I can't remember if this is rounded or not but I think it is doesn't matter this ends uh, this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did learn something, leave me a like, um, subscribe if you want to, um, give me some comments and I'll see you next time.